Wriggling around in ice creams and cheesecakes, the desserts of the world are full of incredible animals. Oh, wait, it should be desert, not dessert. My bad. This video is not about animals who live in whipped cream. It's about the ones who live in sand. A huge step down in flavor. These are the most dangerous desert animals in the world. Number 15, Mongoose. If you find yourself in the desert environments of Asia, Africa, and Europe, then you may just stumble across a mongoose. But don't stumble across it too heavily, for they can be quite dangerous. Sure, looking at them, they seem harmless. They're small, rodent-like, and look a bit like a weasel or a meerkat. Any human could probably take them on. Many mongooses also appear to be nearly immune to snake venom, which is helping their numbers quite well. But even though these critters, which only grow up to around a foot long, seem harmless, they're not. For the most part, they're non-aggressive towards us, but they can bite. Their bite can come with a nasty case of streptococcal sepsis, which can require life-saving debridement of the wound and antibiotics. Streptococcal sepsis can become generalized, which means a patient can deteriorate in a matter of hours. If you're in the middle of a desert days away from help, you may be in trouble. Fortunately, cases of this condition from mongoose bites are rare. You're also very unlikely to end up in a desert situation that involves a standoff with a mongoose. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the odd topic. The bald eagle is not only one of the definitive symbols of America, it's also one of the most dangerous desert animals in the world. These birds of prey are normally seen in North America. Reaching maturity at around five years old, they have the largest tree nests ever recorded and a large hooked beak. They're known as opportunistic carnivores, known to viciously attack whatever or whoever they want to consume. As always, comment down below with the hashtag oddtopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. Let's move on to the next one. Number 14. Western Diamondback Rattlesnake Even though Western Diamondback Rattlesnakes can live in forests, coastal areas, grassy plains, and rocky areas, they also live in the desert. So if you end up there yourself, you're gonna wanna look out for these vicious nope ropes. They're easy to spot, fortunately. They are a heavy-bodied snake with dark lines running down their faces and have a triangular-shaped head. They also have a black tail with white bands that run just above the rattle. If you don't see them first, then you'll hear them by that rattle. They can move this back and forward around 60 times in one second. Western Diamondback Rattlesnakes live around the northern half of Mexico and the southwestern United States and grow up to around 5 to 7 feet long. They feed on mice, birds, lizards, gophers, rats, and rabbits. Fortunately, humans aren't on the menu. But that doesn't mean they aren't a danger to you while venturing out in the desert. They have large venom glands, which means they can deliver a lot of venom in one bite. And it's not nice. The mortality rate of untreated bites is between 10 and 20 percent. Those who receive a bite can experience headaches, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, convulsions, abdominal pain, dizziness, internal bleeding, swelling, muscle damage, and more. Number 13. Cougar. If you go on a camping trip into the desert known for its cougar population, you're gonna want to take care. More often than not, you're not aware of any cougars being present until you're being attacked by one. Then, once they have you in their sights, there's very little chance of escape. Uh. Uh. 
They can run up to 50 miles per hour, especially in hard, flat, sparse areas like desert. If you think you can climb a tree to safety, then think again. A cougar can launch itself around 15 feet up into a tree, foiling your attempt. You can't even climb a fence to safety either, because they can launch over a 12-foot fence as if it were a minor obstacle. If they think you're disrupting their territory, then you can be in trouble. They are even known to stalk loud children. I guess that's one way to stop the kids from being noisy. But there's no joking about cougar attacks, for they are very real. Cougars live across Mexico, in some parts of the United States, and in the western parts of Canada. They're definitely not a friendly kitty cat. Number 12. Killer Bee when people mess around with DNA, it rarely goes well. Just think of Jurassic Park. So when you call something a killer bee, you just know it's not for a good reason. Killer bees, or Africanized bees, were brought to Brazil to crossbreed with the honeybee population to increase honey production. They escaped from the apiary, which is how all horror movies begin. They then gradually made their way across South America, Central America, Eastern Mexico, Southern Texas, Arizona, and California. They haven't stopped moving, and probably never will. If they were just like regular honeybees, that might not be a problem. But these guys really suck. They attack in massive numbers and produce 10 times as many stings as our European strain of honeybee. They've killed at least 1,000 people in Brazil and will chase someone for a quarter of a mile while reacting 10 times faster than other bees too. They've cost the honey industry millions of dollars and have even caused beekeepers to stop producing because they're just so tired of their aggressiveness. Number 11. Horned Viper One of the most dangerous desert animals in the world is the Horned Viper. This venomous snake lives in semi-arid and stony desert environments and is native to the Middle East and North Africa. While you probably won't come across them unless you're exploring the desert environments of these places, they are worth avoiding all the same. They grow up to around 24 inches long and have what looks like horns over each eye. This is probably the best way to identify them because their colors vary from brown to yellow, red, and gray. They generally match the color of the soil they grow up in. These snakes don't look friendly, and you'd be right, they aren't. While their venom isn't all that toxic, that doesn't mean it's pleasant to be bitten by one. They have hollow fangs that manage to deliver venom quite well. That works in their favor, but definitely not ours. When bitten by a horned viper, you can experience swelling, pain, bleeding, necrosis, nausea, abdominal pain, vomiting, sweating, exhaustion, hematuria, heart irregularities, and even kidney failure. Yeah, we'll give that a hard no thank you. Number 10. Arizona Bark Scorpion when all this COVID-19 business is done with and you find yourself exploring the world once again, it might pay to steer clear of the desert areas surrounding northwestern Mexico and the Sonoran Desert in the southwestern U.S. Here, you'll find the Arizona Bark Scorpion, or it will find you. This light brown scorpion grows up to around 3 inches long and feeds on reptiles, birds, rodents, snakes, and spiders. Even though they're small, they are not afraid to get their teeth stuck into creatures much larger than them. It is known as the most venomous scorpion North America has to offer, which does nothing to give us much confidence. Once stung, you can experience excruciating pain, followed by vomiting, numbness, and tingling. These symptoms can last up to three days. You may even find that you lose the use of your right hand or arm, or maybe even experience convulsions. There have been losses of life caused by Arizona bark scorpions as well, with around 800 people dying in the 1980s. Thousands of stings are reported every year, but an anti-venom product is available to help. Number 9. Ostrich 
When you think about the most dangerous animals in desert environments, the ostrich probably doesn't feature high on the list. But it should, because if you annoy one of these flightless birds, you may end up in the hospital, or worse, the morgue. Ostriches live in the open country areas of Africa and grow up to around 9 feet tall. They can weigh as much as 330 pounds and tend to live in small and large flocks depending on what season it is. Just looking at them, you know they're strong and fierce. They have ridiculously strong legs and a hoof-like toe, which it uses as a weapon. If you end up in the firing line of an ostrich, you're not gonna have a fun time. They can chase you at speeds of up to 45 miles an hour and corner a human quite proficiently. Once they do, you're gonna feel a lot of pain. They can deliver kicks so powerful that they can kill large predators like lions. Fortunately, human attacks are rare, but when they do, it's often because humans have provoked them. So if you keep your distance, you should come out unscathed. Number 8. African Wild Dogs To be honest, we're more of a threat to African wild dogs than they are to us. This endangered carnivore from Africa tends to stay away from us, are afraid of us, and are quite secretive. Essentially, if you stay away from them, they will stay away from you. Even when you get close to one of the pack and may pose a threat, they're more likely to observe you from a distance than intervene and cause harm. In saying that, they are wild dogs. If they're put in a position where they have to defend their lives, they will. They can bite and become aggressive even when raised in captivity. They can't be made into pets, and they will always be wild animals. Unfortunately, their numbers are dwindling, and we're mostly to blame. They are the second most endangered carnivore in Africa, and there are only around 6,000 left. Only about 1,400 of these are of breeding age. Poaching and killing on site are two significant problems because some people believe they're a risk to livestock. In reality, they will only hunt livestock when their snacks of choice are in short supply. Number 7. Gila Monster When something has monster in its name, it's not going to be a cuddly, friendly creature that'll become your best friend. This reptile definitely is not. Gila monsters are 4 pound, 20 inch reptiles that are native to the United States. They are one of only a few venomous lizards in the world, and they make sure you know it. While they look like iguanas and Mexican bearded lizards, they are very much different. They have an excruciating bite, which, fortunately, hasn't resulted in any reported human deaths. Snakes inject venom, but the Gila monster operates a bit differently. They latch onto you and chew a painful wound into your body. Venom then moves through the large grooves in their teeth, which they then distribute into your open wound. We're definitely thankful that we also don't have to deal with a potent toxin at the same time on top of dealing with quite a nasty wound. They're also not a reptile you'll spot all that often. They spend around 95% of their life hanging out in underground burrows. They'll feast on eggs they raid from nests and the odd newborn mammal, then venture onto land to bask in the desert sun from time to time. Because they can store fat in their tails, they can go without dinner for months at a time. Number 6. Brown Recluse Spider if you live in the United States' southern or western parts, it's time to move. Once you know that the brown recluse spider lives there, you'll not want to share your home with them at all. This spider is considered one of the most dangerous in the United States. But please, don't go out of your way to get bitten to fact check us. When bitten, this spider's venom breaks and destroys the blood vessels around the wound site. This can often cause a massive skin ulcer. That wound then takes months to heal because of the proteins that make up the venom. If it becomes infected, then it can even cause death. 
That's how potent this spider's venom really is. They aren't overly large spiders, grown up to around 0.25 inches with a 1 inch leg span. They live in rodent burrows, caves, and undisturbed parts of buildings. So if you live in the parts of the country the brown recluse spider calls home, then you may even discover them in your attics, storage areas, ceiling cavities, and walls. Sweet dreams. Number 5. Pepsis Wasp The Pepsis Wasp, or Tarantula Hawk Wasp, is a beautiful creature. They have six long legs, long antenna, a blue-black body, and bright orange wings. As far as creepy crawlies go, they aren't exactly ugly, but they sure are dangerous. And actually quite gross, if we're being honest. They get their name of tarantula hawk wasp from their, uh, diet. They track down a tarantula in a burrow and use it as a host to feed their larva. They damage the webbing around the burrow's entrance, which causes the tarantula to come out for a look. Once it's outside the burrow, the wasp will sting the tarantula to paralyze it. It then drags it back into the den, lays an egg on the tarantula, then seals the burrow's opening. The tarantula can't move or escape. Once the larva hatch, it eats the spider. You'll find this wasp wherever you find tarantula populations. So not only do you have to deal with your crippling fear of tarantulas, but these awful wasps now as well. There are 15 species in the United States, and 9 are in the desert. So if you want to avoid them, just stay away from deserts. Number 4. Fire Ants Imported fire ants were accidentally introduced into the United States in the 1930s, and we've been kicking ourselves ever since. They are most commonly found in humid parts of the southeastern United States, but they are also now being located in the north and west. Your best chance of avoiding fire ants is by living somewhere cold or lacking water. In saying that, you can find the native population of fire ants in arid parts of the United States and Mexico, so you basically can't escape them. Yay for us. Being stung by fire ants is never a pleasant experience, especially if their name is anything to go by. When stung, you may experience a burning sensation. Ow, 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 oh! The sting bite then becomes swollen, painful, and irritated. Within a few days, the sight of the sting can turn into a white pustule. If you scratch it, it can become infected, but if you leave it alone, it can flatten within a few days. If these stings become infected, you can experience scarring and general discomfort. Anyone allergic to the fire ant's venom may also suffer from anaphylaxis, which requires emergency treatment. In most cases, though, you can treat fire ant stings with oral and external medications and home remedies like aloe vera gel. Number 3. Javelina. If you see a javelina, you might be inclined to say, oh, that's a pig. Surprisingly though, javelinas aren't pigs, and they are also quite dangerous. They are hoofed animals from South America and are thought to have migrated to Arizona quite recently. Researchers believe this because they've never been able to find any bones at archaeological sites around human settlers. They get their name, javelina, from their tusks. The male's tusks are sharp and resemble javelins, so that's definitely bad news for us fleshy humans. They may only grow up to around 19 inches tall and 60 pounds, but don't underestimate what they're capable of. They can become defensive if cornered, and have been known to bite and attack humans, often unprovoked. For example, a woman in the Tucson area was walking her dog in 2017 when a javelina came out of nowhere and attacked. She suffered two-inch gashes down her knee. A man walking his dogs in Anthem was also chased by three of them before a woman put her car between the men and the javelina to stop the attack. Number 2. Wild Boars 
Wild boars may not look like dangerous animals, but that doesn't mean they aren't. In fact, failure to treat them as such can have some quite painful consequences. They are native to Singapore and can weigh up to 220 pounds. They can also live up to 20 years, which means their population is definitely not under threat. They can start producing from around 18 months old and then have up to half a dozen piglets every year. Their lack of predators means there are huge numbers of them around the world. That's good for them, but not so much for us. The larger their population grows, the more likely they are to venture into parks, residential areas, and roads. They're shy, but they're still unpredictable, which poses a risk to our safety. If they feel cornered or threatened, or their young are at risk, they go into attack mode. They are fast, strong, and the males possess ridiculously solid canines that can cause some serious damage. Surprisingly, you're not even safe in a car with these animals around. Because of their solid bodies, they can inflict a lot of damage if you happen to hit one. Number 1. Thorny Devil the Thorny Devil, Thorny Dragon, or Mountain Devil is a spiky lizard that lives in deserts and arid scrublands and is native to Australia. As the name suggests, their bodies are covered in thorns or spikes, which is one of the many defense mechanisms they have. Their bodies are so densely covered in these spikes that predators are not all that interested in snacking on them for dinner. They can also puff themselves up with air to make themselves appear larger, and they can change color throughout the seasons. To be honest, the thorny devil is not the most dangerous desert animal in the world to us, but that doesn't mean they aren't hazardous to other animals. They eat ants and termites, and only snakes, birds, and humans are their predators. If you're an ant or termite, you're gonna want to stay out of this creature's way. Up to 3,000 ants lose their lives every day to this lizard. Ants can't even outrun them, for they can travel at distances of up to 37 miles per hour. We're just glad they don't have an appetite for us, for most of us wouldn't be able to outrun them either. Deserts are beautiful places. Whenever they pop up as a screensaver on your computer, it's hard not to think they're breathtaking. But what about all those animals living there who would want to hurt you? Have you seen any of them in person? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!